Okay, folks, uh, I got the pony motor removed from the main engine, and I don't see any issues on the main engine. We hope we're not going to have any. Uh, it was kind of bad because I did take a plug out from right here, which is not even the lowest spot, and we did get some water out. I mean, pure water. And uh, it's actually still in there. There's no antifreeze mixed with anything that's there. Uh, I think what happened is they ran it with the garden hose or with a water hose through it. And then they was unable to get all the water out of it. Uh, probably could have drained it right here. But that plug hasn't been out in a long time. But anyway, so pulled the engine off. Uh, the reason I pulled it off is because I didn't want to pull this manifold off. I was going to have to pull the manifold off to get the head off. So we trying to make it as easy as I could. So the engine's off. We've got to do a bunch of cleanup here. Uh, I did get a head for it, which is right here. And you can see the other one's cracked everywhere. Really bad. And this one's in good shape. This came off eBay. And uh, so we're going to get it on, but then we ran into another issue. Okay, folks, so the whole side of the block here was uh, busted out, and I have brazed it to the best of my ability right here. Uh, it's not perfect, so we're going to cover this entire thing with uh, JB Quicks, and so we know we won't have any leaks. Uh, I was having trouble with my rods. They got flux on them, and the flux was cracked up like they'd been wet before, so uh, just done the best I could do with it. It's pretty much closed up, but I just want to put some... JB Quicks over it to make sure, uh, well, you know, there's a few places I know that it would leak, but uh, I think it'll be fine if we do that. So we're going to get at that now. All right. Okay, folks, power unit's back on. Uh, getting ready to put some water through the water hose into the block. And just go ahead and make sure that we don't have any uh, leaks. Uh, I'm going to leave the drain plugs out of the block, make sure there's no water coming in there. And, uh, We'll know real quick if it if there's a crack somewhere that we don't know about. Uh, let me see. I think that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna leave this out until I get water to there. And everything went together pretty good. Uh, I probably should have and wish I had felt around the side of that block. I probably could have felt them cracks, but I just never done it. But it is what it is. I mean, you know, finding them sooner wasn't gonna make fix them. So uh, we're gonna try and see if we can get this thing fired. All right, it sure does hold a lot of water. So everything's looking good. We've got the water up above the pony motor now. There was not leaking out the pan. So we're ready to put some oil in it. Uh, we've got a problem here. This line here is broke. So we're gonna take this, let's cut it back and just put a hose there. Uh, it's right now the only leak I see. I don't see any leaks on the block. Thank goodness. Nope, I think it's going to be just fine. So, uh, let's see if we can get something set up here to get this thing started. So we got to find a uh, fuel tank to get hooked up and then uh, try to figure out why we ain't getting our uh, appendix to engage for some reason. It was engaging or it did engage before when I was just rolling it over. So we'll see what's going on. All right. Okay, folks. So we got the uh, pony motor running pretty good. It's doing a really good job to, so far. Uh, the over the center... I guess that's what it is over the center. Not the clutch, but the actual Bendix is not wanting to stay in, so I'm having to hold it. Uh, we're leaking pretty bad around uh, the top bracket of the water pump. And we're also leaking at this hose pretty bad. That's okay. Besides that, everything else looks pretty good. No cracks. That was our main thing. Uh, we've got some fuel hooked up to the uh, main engine now. 
And I'm just going to roll it a little while and see if we can get it to do anything at all. And we'll go from there. All right. Got it rolling over good. Let it run a while. Uh, oil pressure comes up good. There's no problems there. So I've got fuel out of here. So our pump's working. Our injector pump's not. I can't get pressure out of the pump. And I'm not sure why. Uh, I might take this cover off and make sure that there's not a shutoff. Because uh, I, I guess this is a shutoff. I don't think it would hit compression release when you come up into that slot so it may be shut off and stuck and there's a few screws missing anyway so we're going to check that out and uh, hopefully we can figure out what the issue is but we've got other little problems you know besides our our water leaks we've got uh, an oil leak from right here uh, leaking pretty bad here bottom of the filter housing like I said water leaks everywhere we got a fuel line the return line leaking still got this water leak uh, what a mess kind of aggravating to deal with something like that but but it's working good it's running good uh, the engine really not too bad it'll run it on high with the compression so uh, not terrible anyway so uh, let me see. Still got this leak back there, and that line is leaking some. And I didn't even put clamps on this. I just put a hose over it. So I know it's leaking a little bit too, but that's okay. But anyway, uh, funny motor is running. does run good. No issues there. We reused the head gasket. Uh, for some reason, nobody has copper spray. And I put Indian head on it. And of course, you can see that it got hot. And that shellac gasket's relaxing. It's coming down out, but that's okay. It'll still hold. Bendix wasn't staying in, so that was temporary while I was just rolling it over. Uh, I tightened that up a little bit. It was leaking a little, got a little coming out of the dipstick too, but I think I overfilled it a little bit, so not a problem. We're not leaking anywhere though. Leaking a little water uh, out this front cover. Uh, I did not take that off, but I did take one bolt out to hook a chain to it. I probably should have took it off and sealed it, but everything else seems to be doing good. Uh, no other leaks that I can see so there's no cracks it's just little issues going to be taken care of so I like that I thought it was kind of neat uh, you can see it, it's at 140 all the time we've been running it and working on it that's what we got it up to took the cover off here I guess that's the governor part of the governor setup uh, no issues there that I could see uh, took this cover off and it's looking like the only injector that was pumping in is this one and it's the only one with the gear down so that tells me that uh, it's not pumping, or the other ones are not pumping. So I don't know if they're just stuck or what. So I don't want to pry on anything or mess with anything. I want to go do some research and 
try to learn something about it and then I'll come back to it and see if we can get that figured out and get this thing started up. So hopefully the next video will be of this diesel running and so we just need to do some work on the injector pump. We'll get that figured out. But uh, anyway, running pretty good on the gas motor and uh, I think that'll be okay. I uh, don't care for the hand start, but it is what it is. And uh, one thing I had to do, I didn't even have to clean the points. The magneto was firing good. Uh, the carburetor I had to take apart seemed like it was about full of oil for some reason. And uh, two new plugs and of course, uh, I rolled it over a lot and then I put some oil on the cylinders, rolled it over some more and finally got the compression up enough to start. Alright, appreciate everybody watching. Until next time. Bye.